Good evening, respected teachers and dear friends. Myself Yashvi Charasya. I am from class eighth, and today, therefore, I am having a new topic for discussion, which is outbreak of eighteen fifty seven. Every Indian grows up listening many stories of brave hearts who fought for our freedom, like Rani Lakshmi Bai and Tantya Tope, etc. Let's learn about this revolt starting causes. partners failure and result first the start as we know that british policies were cruelly against the indians they exploited many kings queens peasants rulers etc by eic or east india company policies and persuaded them for doing conflicts like the policy of subsidiary alliance for seizing power wealth and territory second its causes there are many causes of this revolt first political causes persuading kings and rulers by worse policies like subsidiary alliance to take political control on their territories this happened in mid 18th century second economic causes Many of the policies of EIC were affecting the economy rate of India like peasants or lower caste workers suffered for completely do their work as strictly ordered by british officials but get very less wage and other example is unfair competition between traders or indian traders which led to fight between the both etc Now the third one is social and religious causes. As Britishers entered India, they introduced Indians a new religion, custom, and tradition called as Western tradition. Religious reforms were made, like laws were made that sati or burning of a widow was banned, and widow marriage was continued. from this law many sections of the society were angry and cause it under racial discrimination social reforms were made like indians weren't allowed to sit in first class compartment in their train even highly qualified indians weren't appointed on high posts etc fourth military causes the indian sepoys or soldiers were employed by britishers they were unfairly treated by british officials they didn't get equal wage and opportunities as the britishers and many revolts happened between sepoys and british officials due to these reasons immediate causes as britishers were hated of the rebellions so they issued a new rifle called enfield rifle which became the reason of the action or reason or cause of this revolt but why because this rifle was made by the fat of cow and pig but talk doesn't over here twist was that that sepoys have to bite that greased wrapper before loading the gun due to this the revolt started with the alliance of hindu and muslim against british officials and all the britishers as we know that hindu have religious beliefs with cows and muslims have religious beliefs with uh, pigs that's why they can't step toward the rifle now the members of the revolt first member of the revolt was mangal pandey a sepoy who stepped against the use of the new rifle by britishers but he was present after 10 years in jail this sparked the mutiny of merat sepoys killed many officials the sepoy moved to delhi by traveling a whole night but thus there bahadur shah zafar or bahadur shah 2 was declared an emperor uh, as emperor and leader of the revolt second nara sahib gathered his 
forces and with the help of Tantya Tope and led a expansion to British cities. He proclaimed himself as a Peshwa and governor under the Mughal ruler Bahadur Shah Zafar in North West. In Lucknow, Birgis Kadar declared himself as a new Nawab under the Emperor. His mother Begum Hazrat Mehel led a revolt against the Britishers. From Bareilly, Bahadur Khan became the leader of Jhansi. Rani Lakshmi Bai joined him and captured Gwalia with the help of Tantya Tope. Rani Avantika Bai Lodi also participated and prepared her army. Bhakt Khan, a soldier or a sepoy, prepared a large force and Kunwar Singh led the revolt to in Aran. As Britishers observed the uprise of the rebels, so they removed Bahadur Shah Zafar from the emperor post and exiled his family and him to the Rangoon. In October, he died there on November 1862. After that, all the partners against the Britishers who participated in the revolt were killed and their territories that they had captured were recaptured. Now let me tell you the causes of the failure of that revolt. First, the revolt did not spread to all parts of the country. All sections of the society did not support the rebels and all many Indian rulers even supported the Britishers. The revolt of was more like a reaction with lack of organization and control. There were no leader to organize and carry forward the revolt. The rebels were not well equipped and therefore lost the battle. Now, let me tell you about the result of the revolt of 1857. In this revolt, Britishers although win and they make some all reforms to gain all the power from the country. First thing that they do was the Britishers believed that Muslims were responsible for the rebellion in a big way. They, conf uh, they confiscated properties and land belonging to Muslims on a large scale. Policies were made to please landlords and zamindars by giving them security rights over their lands. The Britishers decided not to interfere with the customary religious and social practices of the ill people of India. In August 1858, the British Parliament passed an act which ended the rule of the British East India Company and directly Britishers come into power. By the act of Parliament, all powers were transferred to the British Crown. The British government took over powers and responsibility to govern India. By the Act of 1858, a Secretary of the State was appointed to manage the affairs of India. He was a member of British Cabinet and was uh, accountable to British Parliament. The Government of India would be headed by the Governor General. By the Act of 1858, he was representative of the crown and appointed by it. He was given the title of Viceroy. Queen Victoria thus became the Empress of India. She assured the rulers that the British would not annex their territories. The doctrine of lapse was withdrawn. Titles and honors were rewarded to win back the ruling elite of India. The British started the policy of divided rule to break the Hindu and Muslim unity. The, that was evident during the revolt of 1857 as we had read. The army was recognized, reorganized and now the number of European soldiers was more than the Indian soldiers or sepoys. All important of the strategic posts uh, 
wide given to Europeans, their requirement fever, soldiers from Avad, Bihar, Madras and other areas where there had been revolts. In or before 1857, they now began the requirement with more soldiers from among the Sikhs, Jats, Gurkhas, Patnas and Rajputs who supported them and had remained neutral during the revolt. Now this was the complete revolt of 1857. Now as we had studied this, so bye bye and thanks for watching the video Mamansen and hope you will be liking this video. Thanks.